In today's video, I'm going to teach you three different ways that you can go ahead and fix the Minecraft Forge exit code one. Now, these are three different solutions that are probably going to work if you try each of them. I'm going to start with the most basic and then I'm going to get to ones that are progressively slightly more advanced. Now, the, the issue basically means that some of the mods are not compatible usually or it means that the versions that you've got linked up are not compatible, but it's pretty easy to fix in a few different ways. All right, so the very first thing that you should go ahead and do is make sure that you have Java 17 installed. And if you have, reinstall it to make sure it's installed correctly. Now you can go to the Oracle website. If you just type in something on Google like um, install Java 17, you can go ahead and find the version that you need. So you probably need like Windows 64. Um, you can get the installer here and make sure you have the correct version. Make sure it's up to date and just reinstall it to make sure that it's all working correctly. This is a common issue and common reason why you might get this error code. So first of all, try that. And if that doesn't work, then let's go on to the second method. Now, the second method is a little bit more advanced. You're going to have to go ahead to your Minecraft folder. There's a few different ways you can do this. If you're using something like CurseForge, you can go within the app here. Um, you can find the mod pack that we're playing. So let's say we're playing all the mods. We could go into here. We can go to these three dots here and we can go to open folder and this is going to be our all the mods folder for example this is to be the mod pack here but usually you're going to be, have to go to um, percent update percent uh, and open your minecraft folder and go in that way but um, once you have accessed your folder here what you want to do is go to the mod section here and you can see i'm playing all the mods and there's like 300 mods here um, so there's a lot of mods and this is going to take a long time, but this is one that can be effective. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and remove the mods from this mod pack. Now, if you're doing it with a mod pack that's got a ton of mods, you'll probably want to do this like 10 or 20 mods at a time. You essentially want to move them all out of this folder. So I'd go ahead and I would click here and I'd drag them all out onto here. And what you want to do is you want to move them back in in batches. So you could do batches of 40 if you wanted. That would mean you do 10 additions. And the way it works is once you move them back, let's say we've moved 40 back in here, we'll try and launch the mod pack. And if it launches without the error code, we'll know it's not any of those 40 um, mods of the issue. So then we'd add another 40 mods. And let's say the issue code comes up. We know that one of the mods in that batch of 40 is going to be the one with the issue. So we would go ahead and we would search for each of those and try and figure out which mod is giving us the issue. And when we figure out, we would delete it and we wouldn't use that mod. That's a way that can work. It's very time consuming, especially if you have a lot of mods. But this is a really good way that you can basically figure out if it's not working. And the final way that you can go ahead and do this uh, is you can go ahead and just reinstall Forge. Sometimes you might have a corrupt version of Forge. So you might want to go and reinstall it however you install it. Um, Go ahead and try that and that will usually fix it. One of those three solutions will usually fix this error. So if you found the video useful, let me know down below. Also like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any videos you'd like me to make and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.